Hello guys, you're welcome once more to NPH, the way to subscribe to the channel and share the link of the channel out there to some stuff. All right. I'm your star, Mr. Puki, and uh, if you're new to the channel, you're highly and highly welcome. All right, so let's look at the simple problem on the board here. The question is on variance, which asks you to what it, do with the measure of what? Dispersion, all right? Because the measure of dispersion, you know, the formulas, you must always see different, okay? So now we're going to <clears throat> simply look at the equation. It says find the variance of we have 4m, okay? 4m minus 1 and 4m plus 1. Okay, these are not numbers, they are you know written in the form of algebraic expressions. Okay, so how do we go about solving this? Now we want to remember that our standard deviation is of course what the square root of our variance, okay, which also has this what formula summation of what x minus the mean all squared divided by what n, which is the frequency. Now, in this case, we have our n as 1, 2, 3. Okay? Now, <clears throat> using this relationship, we know that you know, standard deviation is always the square root of what our variance. So what becomes what the variance? Now, variance is going to be, we are going to what take square of what both sides. So if I square, okay, if I square this, and if I also square this, so standard deviation or the squared is the course of the square, the square root of the variance. Okay, we're also going to square all this. Now the idea is this. Whenever you square, you know, a radical, okay, something with a square root, okay, this is going to cancel out this. So our variance is equal to what? Standard deviation square, which is equal to what? Now, by formula, this is also going to cancel this, so we are left with this. So we have summation of what? X minus what? The mean or the squared, okay, divided by what? our n, all right? Now that we know our standard deviation, we can now use our formula to solve the problem. So the first thing we want to solve is this, okay? We want to solve for what? The mean, okay? We always start from the mean. So our mean is going to be, remember when you're solving for mean, if I have the mean, Say of one, two, and three. Okay, if we are to look for the mean, what do you do? You add them up and divide by what? We have one, two, three numbers. Okay, one plus two is three, plus three is six, divided by three. So our mean in this case is what? Two. So mean is all about summing what you have and dividing by what? The yeah, frequency of the total of the numbers. All right, so this we are going to sum them up. So we have four m plus we have four m minus what one plus we have four m plus what one. All right, so all that divide by what? In this case, we also have one, two, three. So I'm also going to divide it by three. All right, so let's sum all that up. Our mean value is going to be. Let's open this bracket. So we have four m plus 4m minus 1, plus 4m plus 1, all this divided by 3, let's call it right terms. So 4m plus 4m, so we have 4m plus 4m, is also plus what 4m, so we are left with plus 1 and minus 1, so we have plus 1 minus 1, all this is going to divide by 3, okay? So 4m plus 4m is 8m, plus another 4m, we are going to have 12m. Now plus one minus one is zero. So I'll just divide by three. So 12m plus zero is going to give us 12m divided by three. So three will cancel, this is four times. So we have as, we have our mean value as 4m, okay? Now that we've gotten the mean value as 4m, 
then we can now proceed to solve the problem. Remember, our variance is equal to what? Summation of x minus the mean values squared all this divided by of n. Okay. Let me write out the mean value somewhere. So we have our mean value as what? For n. Now n is the number of numbers, one, two, three. So we have three there. Let's take the differences where v is equal to what? Now summation means we are going to be adding while we are subtracting. So the first one, our x is 4n. So we have 4n minus our mean value was what? 4n. All this in brackets, we have square plus, okay, that's for the summation. Now we'll do for the next one, we have 4n minus 1. So we have our 4n minus 1. And we are going to subtract the mean, which is the 4n. Okay, all this we are going to square plus. Lastly, this minus this. So we have our 4m plus 1, which is this, minus this, which is minus what? Our 4m. All this squared. So all these we are going to divide by what? n. n is what? 3. Let's see what this gives us. So we have v is equal to what? 4m minus 4n is 0. So we have 0 squared okay, plus now, what about this? Okay, we have 4n minus 1 minus 4n. So we have our 4n. We are going to call it like terms. So I'll bring minus 4n close to this. So minus 4n. Then we have minus 1. All this squared plus. What about this? So we have also 4n. We are going to bring this close. So minus 4n. We have plus 1 all this squared. So all this is going to divide by what? We have three. All right. So let's evaluate further to see what this gives us. So we have 4n minus 4n is zero. Remember zero squared is what's the zero plus 4n minus 4n is zero. So we have zero minus one, all this squared plus 4n minus 4n here is also 0, so we have 0 plus 1, or this squared. So we're also going to divide it by what n, which is what 3. All right? We have this as we have 0 plus, now 0 minus 1 is what minus 1, or this squared plus 0 plus 1 is 1 squared. So all this we are going to divide by 3. So we have 0 plus minus 1 square is still 1 plus 1 square is still 1 divided by what? 3. So if we add the numerator that we're going to get, 0 plus 1 is what? 1 and plus 1 is going to give us what? 2. So we have 2 over 3 as a simple answer to this problem. If you wish, you can keep your answer in decimal, which is going to be 0 0.6666, you know, that is recurring, all right, recurring decimal. So our answer to this simple question is what a fraction to over what three. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the link on the channel to someone out there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.